Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Crafternoon with Camus Public Library. My name is Nicole, and today's cute little crafts, you're going to need some clothes pins. You can even use the, the plain pinchy types. I just happen to have some of these, like, old school ones, solid ones. And you're going to need some different colors of paint and some paint brushes, of course, and some stuff to make bling out of it. So a little pieces of fabric or yarn, some scissors, some markers if you want to add some details to it. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use some green paint here, is you want to do your base color of whatever design you're making. What we're making are little people. So I'm using green. I'll show you why in just a moment. So you're best off holding it by its head and painting the clippy part first. You might wanna do a couple of coats just to get some really good coverage because wood will soak up paint like nobody's business, unless you have primer. But I don't think for crafts, people very often use primer. So, the bottom. And here's a nice trick to not have to wait for this to dry and to not get your hands full of paint. Get yourself a nice glass. You can see I've already done this once today. It's pretty dirty. Um, one that preferably does not have a big rim on it. And then you can just stick it on the edge of your glass while you paint the rest of it without getting your hands all goopy and gross. And actually wrecking your paint job too because you'll leave fingerprints in your paint if you try to hold on to wet paint. Paint the entire thing green. And then let it dry for about, I don't know, five or ten minutes if you want to do two coats. But we're not going to do that because me being prepared and all, I have already painted two of them and let them dry. So the first one, I am going to use a little bit of yellow yarn. Get some scissors. And I'm going to make some hair for mine. You can make as much or as little as you want but it's going to be kind of messy hair, so I'm gonna use a lot more actually. And I'm gonna tie in the middle. I just made loops. And then tie it in the middle with an extra piece of yarn. If my hands will do what I want them to do today. And then you can just snip the little loops that you've made so that you have a nice full head of hair. You can leave some longer, cut some shorter if you want. And the best way to get this onto your little clothespin's head, dab a hot glue right on the top of the noggin. And you can arrange it <laughs> so that it, his face is this way so you you want to put his face on the same side that is solid on the base of it so i'm just going to use my pencil because i do not have a thin sharpie maybe i will try sharpie hopefully i don't ruin it so i'll show you what i've done once i've done drawing once i'm done drawing the face two little eyes and a little smile and a tongue. And what we have made is, it's a wocket for your pocket. Do you know the Dr. Seuss story? There's a wocket in my pocket. So you can put this in your pocket. I don't have a pocket, I'll just put it on my sweater here. But it will hang in your pocket and you can have a wocket in your pocket. Cutest thing ever, hey? So the other one, if you're not a Seussian, I thought that I would do something a little bit different and I'm going to use some purple paint. Actually, no, I'm going to draw things first and then I will do paint. So for, for your wocket, you wanted the solid part to be where his face was. For this one, you want it to look like he has legs. So we're going to put the face right here. So we are going to get our marker and he needs a nice head of hair. You could use some um, black paint as well, but I'm just gonna use a Sharpie because it doesn't take as long to dry 
and also because I don't have any black paint right now. Doodly doo, drawing some hair. That's good enough. Now, the character that we are making really needs some abs, so we're gonna draw some abs and a nice six pack going down the front. Any ideas of who we're making? Nice. <laughs> and a kind of a cranky mouth. And some angry eyebrows. And some little eyes too. Who is green and is cranky and is like ripped? And has purple pants. Yes, we need purple pants. That's right, you guys, we're making the Hulk. Okay, purple paint on my palette. And a paintbrush, which I need to clean because it has green paint on it. Dry off a bit, purple paint, and we'll make some pants. And if you remember correctly, um, the Hulk's pants are kind of jaggedy at the bottom. That's the bonus of using marker is that you can turn him upside down to paint the bottom of his pants. And his pants are kind of jaggedy and short at the bottom, so I'm not going to be too particular about how this goes. Because, of course, they rip every time he changes into the Hulk, right? Hold him by his head. And from his waist down, we will make some purple pants. So you could probably do all other kinds of superheroes in this same fashion, even with, like I said, with the regular clothespins, if you don't have these old type, old fashioned type ones at home, regular clothespins will work too. And then you could like hang them on a line, do all the superheroes. There we go. Hulk smash. So we have a Hulk and we have a Wocket for your pocket. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Have a good day. Bye.